Yeah, we came off of a pretty exciting year in 2014. Uh, hopefully what it did for us is set a new standard to uh, where our program needs to be on a consistent basis. Um, this year's team is uh, going to be a lot different. You know, we, need to, we graduated a, a nice class last year that that's, a lot of those players that started for four years or contributed significantly. So uh, for us, it's a matter of determining who our leaders are on the field and off the field as the season progresses. Uh, we're pretty excited about where we're headed. I think, um, you know, first impression was uh, trying to trying to realize uh, that we don't have some of those guys like Mike Crampton and Eric Smith that are that uh, led the way on the offense end of the field as well as um, you know Matt Pooley at the defense end of the field. So, um, you know, first impression was, hey, you know what, we're uh, we have a lot of talent that's coming back and some younger guys that are going to contribute. So I think. I think with the uh, experience factor aside, we have a pretty talented group and uh, we're ready to roll. Well, throughout the past few years as the conferences realigned and, and lacrosse programs, uh, you know, switch conferences and form new conferences, uh, we were in a position to start looking at the landscape of lacrosse and we feel the Southern Conference is, is probably the best fit for our program. Most of the schools are similar in size and, and uh, they have their geographic uh, uh, challenges as well, but I, I think that's a good fit for our program. Um, I think it's a program we can compete in. Uh, those programs all have uh, highly respected coaches and uh, those institutions are really supporting those programs at, at those institutions. So I think it's a great fit for us and we're excited about that in 2016. You know, after graduating uh, a decent amount of leadership in last year's team, uh, we went into the summer uh, looking for who that next generation of leaders is in our locker room. Um, Davis Gunter was someone who the team embraced early um, to uh, get us into the spring season from a leadership standpoint. Um, we sat down as a coaching staff and identified Kyle O'Brien as someone who should share in that co-leadership. Um, both of those guys, from the minute they step on campus, they showed a lot of potential as leaders. Um, and continue to progress that way um, in their four years here. Um, you know, Kyle has great street credibility, um, being a four-year starter for us. Davis uh, battling a lot of adversity with in injury and whatnot. Um, I think we have good balance in those two guys. I think their personalities will affect the team in, in different ways. And uh, I, I think they're the two best guys right now for the job. Obviously, from a team-building standpoint, going up a 14er, uh, provides our guys with the opportunity to learn about each other on a different level, particularly our freshmen that come into the program. Uh, gives gives our upperclassmen a chance to learn about them and their backgrounds and their motivations and things along those lines. Um, you know, getting up to 14 is pretty challenging, so I want to instill in our guys a uh, mentality that, that they can do more than they think they can. And, and you know, most limits that we put on, on ourselves are are self-imposed and we want to be able to break through those limits and I think that translates onto the lacrosse field especially you know overtime game or something down the stretch where our guys need to dig deep and dig deep deep in their hearts hopefully they'll bring themselves back to being on top of one of those mountains and uh, appreciate the fact that you know uh, we've built a little toughness in the fall and they're going to be able to uh, dig deep and get through it. We were excited to be able to hire uh, coach David Cohn uh, into our program uh, uh, during this fall. Um, Coach Cohen brings a lot of experience, uh, real life experience, uh, being, being a naval grad, uh, being in the Navy, brings some real life experience uh, in the military, as well as uh, can appreciate what some of our guys go through from a cadet standpoint on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, we're excited to have him down. I'm going to push, put him over into the offense end of the field and uh, be able to develop a lot of skill development with our players. Um, uh, as time goes on, I'd like to be able to hand off some more of the offensive responsibility so I can align myself in the middle. But right now, I think he's transitioning very well, has a great relationship with our guys, and uh, I'm excited to watch him grow as a coach and, and see what his impact is going to be in our program. Yeah, I think this, this season's schedule is, is, a, is a good one for us. It's an exciting one for us. I don't think there's any one matchup that means more. Uh, certainly, I think from the outside, the rematch with Duke will be exciting um, after the season we had last year. Uh, Denver is preseason number one. That's going to be an exciting matchup. Uh, our two sister uh, military academies of Navy and VMI certainly is going to bring um, 
you know, a lot of uh, excitement in our locker room out onto that field competing against another academy. Uh, you know, no, no game is more important than the next. We just want to be able to improve as the season goes on, uh, you know, and be prepared for each, each opponent as they come. And uh, hopefully, similar to last year, as the season goes on, we get better and better and finish, finish uh, on a positive note.